University started out as an agricultural college, and over the years it grew. Nothing had been done in this area for years and years. Uh, there was a gas station, there had been a dry cleaner, some shops, but very small, but nothing to write home about, I can tell you that. It was old, it was tired, and it was not a good representation either for the town of, either the town of Mansfield or for the University of Connecticut. Many of us felt that it was time for the area to catch up with the university. From the university's perspective, it was important to have and create a uh, civic center adjacent to the university for the purposes of attracting and retaining students and attracting and retaining staff and faculty. For the town, uh, it was important for them for some of the same reasons in terms of having a civic center for permanent residents of the town of Mansfield and adding to the tax base. When we were doing surveys of students who chose not to come to UConn uh, in the early 2000s, one of the top reasons that they gave was there was nothing to do in stores. So that leads to the development of the Mansfield Downtown Partnership, of which I've been president for the past 16 years. It's made up of members of the University of Connecticut, the town of Mansfield, the business community, and volunteers from uh, the town of Mansfield and surrounding communities. We recruited a master developer, Leyland Alliance, and they've been great to work with for many years now. And they brought in EDR. Their vision is consistent with our vision. We want a long-term investor, not somebody who's going to build and flip who's going to own the properties, who's going to kind of love them along with us. Well, EDR you know, had an, obviously an enormous part in the success of Story Center. When we started it, we probably did not envision it as pure collegiate housing. The idea of condominiums, the idea of people coming to stores from all over the place and buying college town housing, that was the original dream. E EDR, in, in many ways, helped save the project because we had been working on this for close to a decade. The housing market hit rock bottom. So Leyland reaching out to EDR, structured as a REIT, who could be the equity partner, uh, that really enabled this project to move forward. Howard and Leyland connected with EDR. They brought Tom Trubiano and, and his team uh, two stores. People were impressed with Tom and EDR in terms of their willingness to uh, work with the vision that we had created and uh, nurtured over a long period of time. They've been terrific partners. They've done what they said what they, they were going to do. EDR has tremendous financial capability. We're a small company. When EDR came in as our partner, all of a sudden we were treated as a, treated as a uh, very financially capable group. Uh, and uh, many banks were willing to lend us money and um, financing became a lot easier. So. And from an operational point of view, EDR also brought in good construction capability, planning capability, a very strong management team. It was back actually before Stores Center was even a concept. Um, we opened a restaurant in Pomfret, Connecticut, which is about 30 minutes from here, back in 1989. And from almost day one, people from Stores, Mansfield area, came to us and said, you've got to open one of these down by Yukon. And uh, when it really looked like it was going to come around, I was the first person actually in to negotiate a letter of intent to be here in 2008. I actually saw the shovel go into the ground during the groundbreaking ceremony, which was really exciting. So I've been here from the start. We started pre-leasing immediately after that, and we've filled up every single apartment every year since we've opened. We have studio apartments, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms. Um, our apartments are beautiful. They have granite countertops, accent walls, tall ceilings, large windows. There's a vinyl wood look floor throughout the kitchen and the living room, carpeted bedrooms. They're very modern. All the appliances are included, stainless steel appliances. And we have lots of amenities here. We have a 24-hour gym with matrix fitness equipment. It's very state-of-the-art. We have a business center. 
We have a yoga studio and we offer yoga classes twice a week. UConn's growing. The student population's growing, the faculty's growing. So in order to appeal to prospective residents, prospective staff, um, we really have to have a product that appeals to everybody. We felt that the ideal for Store Center would be a mix, a mix of national retailers, regional or local retailers, and, and, and unique mom and pop shops that would give this place a unique feel and flavor. But we knew we needed and wanted a grocery store anchor, and we have a price chopper, beautiful price chopper a grocery store that actually looks like a Whole Foods, such a beautiful market. So now we have people who can come downtown, and go to the restaurant, you can see your doctor in the afternoon, you can pick up your prescription at the CVS, you can stop and get your groceries and then go home. So it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful sort of multi-stop downtown. You can do a bunch of things here in one trip. Well, I really like eating, so definitely having all the different restaurants has been really great because the dining halls don't really do it for you sometimes. I'm partial to the Ballard Museum of Puppetry. UConn's got a, one of the only two schools of uh, programs for puppetry in the country. And if you go in there, it's just a remarkable little gem that you can't find just about anywhere else. I really love the town square, you know, especially seeing it at night. Uh, how it came out, how it's landscaped, and just seeing that as uh, our, our civic home, you know, our, our identity. I think that, that that's my favorite place. The work that we did, we spent 10 years, over 10 years planning this project. And we've had a very, very positive reaction both from in town and from our peers throughout the state and even throughout the United States in terms of what we've been able to do here, essentially building a downtown from scratch. And people are now saying the most important project probably ever done on this campus is the downtown project because it cements the relationship between the town and the university. And I think it's really an important uh, space for people to go outside of chemistry buildings or, or athletic fields or classrooms for students uh, to mingle with faculty, to mingle with residents, uh, to get that great cross-pollinization uh, of, of, of what ought to happen in a, in a great community. UConn is a very closed campus, it's not a big city, so having this kind of gives it that city feel, like this is downtown stores, so you get to come down here and you have that like, that city feel with all the shops and the apartments, so that definitely adds a lot to UConn. I think having a, a vibrant downtown like this is, is great for stores. I mean, people who've lived here for years and years have talked about it, have always wanted it. Every town needs it, you know? Every town needs a place like that, and stores finally has one.